News about the upcoming total eclipse set to take place in North America on April 8, 2024, is attracting increasing interest and concern. However, this celestial event is not merely an isolated phenomenon. It appears to be related to earthly events of significant importance. In my latest video on total eclipses, some people in the comments suggest that all of this is simply a fear-mongering strategy. But have you ever wondered if these events are aligned with biblical prophecies? Welcome to Bible Stories, the channel where we explore the spiritual richness and prophecies found in the Holy Scriptures. On this occasion, we will delve into an intriguing topic, the truth about the solar eclipse. What will happen on April 8, 2024 in Mexico and the United States Biblical Prophecy? Get ready to discover the mysteries and meanings behind this celestial phenomenon and how it relates to the biblical prophecies that guide us in these particular times. Imagine an afternoon that suddenly turns into night for a few minutes, with birds and insects silent and nocturnal animals becoming active. This is the striking scenario of a total solar eclipse, a rare and upcoming phenomenon. Some wonder if this could be more than just a mere coincidence, perhaps a warning. We are living in times when biblical prophecies are being fulfilled. Jesus warned us about signs in the sun, moon and stars, as well as disturbances on earth and sea. This upcoming total eclipse that will temporarily darken a swathe of land from northern Mexico to New England is special because we won't see another like it for decades. Some view it as a unique scientific event, while others interpret it from a biblical perspective, wondering if it could be a divine sign. A publication called Harbinger Daily offers a biblical perspective on this eclipse, pointing out that a similar pattern occurred in the early 1800s. The New Madrid earthquakes, the largest in U.S. history, are also related to such celestial events. Could this eclipse signal a possible catastrophe in the months following? During my research, I discovered that the divine calendar may differ from the one we commonly follow. The prophetic days set by God for His people are distinct from the feasts instituted by the Gentile Roman Church. These celebrations are marked by their Christ-centered magnificence, possess a prophetic character, and prompt practical transformation. In short, these feasts have completely changed my life, as well as that of my family and many believers worldwide, who are open to what God communicates to His Church today. God's prophetic days are essential, for they represent the true clock that marks the perfect rhythm of all creation. Attempting to understand prophecy without considering this calendar is like venturing into darkness without a guide like a blind person or even risking falling completely behind. Before we continue, I'd like to conduct a brief survey to hear your opinion. If you believe these solar eclipses are divine manifestations, please comment divine, otherwise write coincidence. And if you're unsure, say undecided. The patterns you are about to witness in this brief video and how they align with the Hebrew calendar of the Bible are truly remarkable. If you're willing to listen, you may find yourself compelled to take specific actions. That said, let's begin. First and foremost, I want to express my belief that the War of Gog and Magog is related to these rare solar eclipses we are witnessing. Did you know that this alignment has only occurred twice in history? Well, here is where the story becomes even more interesting. Pay attention to these constellations, as they will regain significance in relation to the 2024 eclipse. Revelation chapter 12 warns us about the conflict between the Antichrist, also known as the Beast, and the Saints, as well as the rebirth of Israel and Jerusalem as a nation. Both signs served as a serious warning to the United States regarding Israel, especially concerning the division of the land. 
three and two years later, symbolizing how this division could occur with the Antichrist. From August 2017 to January 28, 2028, President Donald Trump proposed the so-called Deal of the Century, known as Peace to Prosperity. He advocated for a two-state solution by granting 70% of Israel's land, including the eastern half of Jerusalem, to the Palestinians, ancient Philistines, and historical enemies of Israel for the creation of a Palestinian state. Three months later, the pandemic struck, causing global devastation followed by significant economic hardships, civil unrest, confrontations with Russia, and the loss of leadership both for Netanyahu and Trump in 2020. Surprisingly, instead of witnessing the signs of the Four Horsemen as expected, we saw these signs occurring in reverse order. Additionally, as a result of these events, we witnessed the emergence of alliances like Gog and Magog, primarily through OPEC oil nations aligned with BRICS, challenging the predominance of the US dollar in trade, leading to significant inflation and the imminent collapse of the banking system. All these events were predicted in the Bible regarding Israel in the last days. Fast forward to April 8, 2024, seven years after the initial eclipse in August 2017. Another eclipse is predicted to occur, this time not only visible in the United States, but its path of totality will form a significant X across the country. However, unlike the 2017 eclipse and the sign of Revelation chapter 2, this eclipse will only cover the eastern half of the nation and will occur seven months before the 2024 presidential elections. Interestingly, like the sign of Revelation 12, the constellation Leo, symbolizing Judah and Jerusalem, will align with the solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. This constellation is associated with the Lion of Judah, representing Jesus. What does all this mean in biblical prophecy? The number seven often symbolizes completeness, indicating the end of a cycle. In this context, it refers to the conclusion of Israel's 70 weeks of judgment, represented by cycles of seven years. This eclipse is not necessarily a warning about future events, but rather a reflection of past events connected with the future. The X-shaped form formed by the eclipse resembles the Hebrew letter Tav, symbolizing a mark or seal. This letter is significant as it is used only twice in the Bible, including in Ezekiel chapter 9, where it represents a protective seal placed upon those who mourned the sins of the first Jewish temple before its destruction by Babylon. Similarly, it echoes the marking of doorposts during the first Passover in Exodus, foreshadowing the mark of the beast and the protective seal over the 144,000 and witnesses during the seven-year tribulation period. Therefore, the Tav mark in the United States signifies both protection and judgment, especially concerning the division of Israel's land. With all this in mind, what do we do as children of God? Once again, the Bible tells us there will be strange signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And here on earth, nations will be in confusion, perplexed by roaring seas and strange tides. People will be terrified by what is coming upon the earth, for the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then, finally, they will see the Son of Man coming on a cloud with power and great glory. The Bible has given us all this information so that we may be prepared, not with fear, not terrified, but prepared. Biblical prophecy is a puzzle with many different pieces, and all are clear in the Bible. And here are some of the pieces we need to watch. The increase of deception, the rise of doctrines, wars and rumors of wars, apostasy, the love of many growing cold, earthquakes, plagues, and of course supernatural signs in the sun, moon, and stars. When we put all these puzzle pieces together, we begin to see that an image is forming. God's Word paints a picture that tells us exactly what to expect as the second coming of Christ approaches. God's Word speaks extensively about how people will change in the last days. 
and once again, an image of how society will be begins to emerge. Paul warned us that people will not endure sound doctrine, they will have itching ears and be drawn to the doctrines of demons. There will be false prophets and false teachings arising all over the world. People will only love themselves and their money. They will be arrogant and proud, mocking God. They will act religiously, but reject the power that could make them godly. If this video has been helpful to you and helped clarify something, I'm glad. I ask that you subscribe to the channel and leave your like to support my work and receive more relevant content like this. Your support is very important to me. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on this journey of spiritual discovery through the stories and prophecies of the Bible. If this video has inspired you or provided you with a new understanding, we invite you to share it with your friends and family. Together, we can explore the truth and wisdom contained in the Holy Scriptures and enrich our lives with their light. Feel free to spread this message of hope and knowledge. Thank you for being part of our community and for helping us bring these stories to the world. Contextualizing the Eclipse The narrative sets the stage by elucidating the rarity and significance of a total solar eclipse capturing the attention of individuals worldwide due to its impending occurrence in North America. Biblical Interpretation Drawing parallels between biblical prophecies and contemporary events, the text prompts readers to ponder the alignment of celestial occurrences with the scriptures, inviting introspection and analysis.